Well, our health editor, Dr. Hillary, is here. We all um, want to have fun at Christmas, don't we? And part of that for many people is to have a drink. Sure. But when it gets to that stage, when it is affecting the people who are drinking's mm. health mm. and taking the time of overstretched staff already, yep. uh, they've got to be limits, haven't they? Uh, absolutely. I mean, this uh, the equivalent weekend last year, there were 826 call-outs for alcohol-related incidents okay. over that weekend. Yeah. That's at the peak, 40 an hour are calling an ambulance because they're either injured, unconscious, vomiting. And for every one of those cases, they're taking those crews away mm. from somebody who's got a more serious illness, perhaps a heart attack, a stroke, something else, an, an elderly person with pneumonia. Um, and that's what people don't realise. One of the reasons why it's so, so important um, that people drink sensibly is because they are putting themselves in danger. Uh, but not only that, the ambulance crews are duty bound to go and see anybody who's unconscious. They don't, they can't assume mm. that it's alcohol related unconsciousness. They have to make sure they haven't had a stroke. They might have to make sure they're not uh, injured through a head injury or something like this as a result of the alcohol. Mm. And every one of those has to be treated like an emergency. Mm. So it's costing the NHS a fortune, but it's also uh, it putting people uh, themselves at risk. Uh, British Transport Police say there were far more platform edge related alcohol incidents last year as well with several deaths and the, the service trains, is, on yeah. the trains uh, and and if you talk to the acute medical services they're saying that hospitals are currently on a knife edge already with everything else so bed occupancy is 95 percent recommended bed occupancy is 85 percent there's no slack in the system so if people are going to hospital in an ambulance because they've drunk too much it's basically silly and it's selfish it's so frustrating as well i'm sure for the staff because it is avoidable uh, absolutely and and you know ben i don't know about you but over the course of the years i've put my hand up i've been out and drunk too much mm. at this time of year I've never called out a doctor or an ambulance so you don't need to do that so it, just just drink sensibly within your limits and be able to look after your friends and know how you're getting home and pace yourself um, we have our presenters lunch today we do. I always position myself very close to dr. Hillary at the lunch <laughs> in the hope that a, he's gonna, I do, I do. I that a good think thing he's gonna, you know he's gonna restrain me he's gonna moderate him of he course. doesn't actually he encourages fun and games listen and moderation and everything it's exactly. fancy, yeah but so I won't what, be calling out an ambulance doctors are traditionally some of the worst aren't they medical people yeah. will actually party very very hard yes but probably don't get themselves in that mess so what yeah. is the advice to have fun yeah. but not well, give us some sort of tips. I, I think I think um, first, first of all, don't ever preload. Preloading yeah. is a is a is a modern what thing. What does that mean? You mean where you go drinking have before because you go it's out. cheap at home before you go yeah. out. Yeah. Eat instead. Have something, line your stomach. Have something to eat mm. uh, before you go, and then pace yourself. Pace and space. So for every alcoholic drink, make sure you have the equivalent amount of water or a soft drink in between. Okay. Smaller glasses, so you're not drinking these massive glasses that are available today, which are almost a third of a bottle. If so not don't more. necessarily yeah. start with a large wine if you're going to be drinking all night. Maybe no, start absolutely. with a smaller wine. You're still going to have absolutely. Yeah. And then make sure you, you're looking at what your friends are doing and, and you've got your, you, your route home planned. Um, and, and I think if you see one of your friends is actually uh, becoming a little bit inebriated, it's only going to get worse in the next hour or two. So keep an eye on them mm. and discourage them from drinking too much and being silly because people put themselves at risk when they're, when they're inebriated. That, yeah. that there's, there's a risk of injury, there's a risk of being assaulted. There's all mm. sorts of social risks involved. And actually just being sensible and, and, and being within your limitations is good advice. Nobody wants the sort of scenes that we saw there with Jonathan and people putting at risk. But we are also talking today about those Christmas party calamities, those things where, you know, you perhaps say too much, do too much, have a moment of regret. Have you ever experienced any Henry? None at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was very quick then, wasn't None he? Yeah. That's, Honestly, that's, that's, the day that's something that happens to other people, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I've seen it. I've seen yes. it. Yeah. You've I've seen, seen it, it happen to others. Plausible right. deniability, isn't that what they call it? Something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Today, maybe that's it. Maybe today will be oh, the day. Today's a test. Don't you worry about Today's that. A test. Don't you worry about that. He'll be